Hello there, glad you could join me again on another clip and today I'm going to read you a story called Someone Bigger but before I do that I'd like to do a quick shout out and I'd like to shout out to Molly. Hi Molly and your family and Molly met teacher Chris on a walk a few weeks ago so hi to you and of course Hi to everyone else that are watching these clips. I hope you're enjoying them. And today, as I said, I'm going to read you a story. And this is called Someone Bigger. What do you think it might be about? What can you see in the picture? Well, I can see a boy and a kite and a man hanging on the string. Let's find out, shall we? Someone bigger. Sam and Dad had made a kite. They'd made it large. They'd made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first? Can I, said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then Dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight, while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. It's gone really high, hasn't it? But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and pulled Sam's dad into the sky and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I? said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman, there he is, with a sack of mail. A bank robber escaped from jail. A policeman riding on his horse, a bridegroom and his bride, of course. But all of them were pulled up too and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I, said Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. And then, by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight. But all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I, said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew on. It would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. Wow, look at that. And other creatures from the zoo, a tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I, said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. It must be a very windy day. But then Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed the string and held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one, they came back down, everyone from zoo and town, the rhino, tiger, kangaroo, the fireman, bride and bridegroom too. 
the postman, robber, policeman, horse, and last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small, and as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. And there he is, flying his kite <laughs> by himself. I hope you enjoyed that story. This was one of my boys' favourite when they were younger. And what they liked is the fact that it rhymed. Did you notice it rhymed as we read it? All right. Can you remember some of the people that got pulled up or some of the animals that got pulled up by the kite? Try and remember what the animals were. That's right, it was a rhino, kangaroo and a tiger. I think there was another one as well that got pulled up with the policeman. Should we have a look? Let's have a look. <gasps> there it is. It was a policeman and his horse. <laughs> and they got pulled up with the bride and the bridegroom. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll be back to read you another one very soon. Till then, till then, take care.